Matthews, Matthews, chapter 5, verse 11. Blessed are ye when men shall revile, shall revile you and prosecute and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my name, for, for my sake. I'd like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahusha, Bahashim, Rakakodash, the Wadi Yahashim, Yahusha, for giving us the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who deserve double honors, rightfully so. Shalom to the Aki and pushing the word and sincerity and truth and being faith based and being prepared for what is to come. And what is to come? Race wars, famine, concentration camps, the RFID check, which is the mark of the beast. 200 million missiles hit the soils of America. Simultaneously, the chariots of the Lord lifted up the whole full light into the chambers. Simultaneously, the chariots of the Lord shooting laser beams at the ungodly and the heathens. Rightfully so. Uh, let me read that verse again. Matthews chapter 5, verse 11. It says, Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and should say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. And the letters I'm reading right now is in red and that's Yahweh Shah saying these things. And just about, I guess, before the year ended, like 2019, um, they just came out the woodwork of saying things about it. the sign came up with Yahweh Shah is coming back. And then they had that fake shooting in Jersey. And something came on with me the other day, and I was like, that's pretty close to New York. I just wanted to say that. Like, it's pretty close to New York. And we know that um, the One West camp came out of New York, you know, and, and um, that's where a lot of. Um, how you say? Um, uh, they got the they got a lot of different movements up there in New York. Up in New York, they got the conscious movement. They got the Muslims and all this man, you know. And most and foremost, they got the Israelites. Cause um, twelve years ago, probably before that, you know, I probably I you know in the spirit, you know, you, you know your your mind is not open to it. You know, if the Lord don't open your mind to it, you're not going to be able to see it, you know? And I remember I remember those days when I was younger. I used to see individuals out there reading the book, and they used to have these signs, but my mind wasn't open to it, you know? And, you know, you move up now, and the Lord took that veil off my head, and I'm able to see clear how this is being played out. And... It's so ironic. All right, let's see if that word ironic me. <laughs> let's see if that's using that word right. All right, so I... <laughs> All right, it says... Ironic mean... Here's the definition of ironic. Using or characterized by irony. Irony. Now we got to go with another word, irony. Irony. Using the character of irony. Alright, so lock it. We got one more word. Right. Irony mean. Here's the definition of irony the expression of one's meaning by using language that normally signifies the opposite, typically for humorous or emphatic effect. Oh, okay. Of the, of the opposite effect. And that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to create, they're trying to give us, they're trying, they're trying, they're trying to make, um, our situation the opposite from what we're doing. So what they doing? They calling us terrorists. Right? They saying that we out there terrorizing people by reading words. You know, in the sake of Yahweh, in the sake of Yahweh Shah. So that sign that was put up, it said it said Yahweh Shah is coming back. You no, know, I don't know. I think it said Yahweh Shah is coming soon or coming back. I think it said coming soon or something coming back. But but it's funny 
They said they put it by a mosque. Right? Uh, whatever whatever that shit is called. The fucking Khazars call that shit. Right? They, they, they place the, the, what they, the Khazars because they're not Jews. Right? The scripture speaks about these things. Yahweh Shah says it himself. And they don't follow the book. They follow the book of Talmud. That's, I think that's what it's called. But my point is that it's funny. When we assume we was leaving the year of Karagma, because that's the year of Karagma. 2019 was the year of Karagma, the mark of the beast. And then right when right when right when Apostle Talk um coined the year the next year, year of prophecy, everything started happening. Everything. So, I mean the month is not even this is still January. We still we things is still happening. It's like they they bombed they bombed that 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 Iranian general. They 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 um He's signing legislation all over the place. All right, they get they preparing themselves. They get closer and closer to Russia, cause they know that's the opposite. That's the that's the opponent they have to fight. The upper elites knows what was going down, and if they don't know now, they know because we, through the from the apostles on now, we've been telling you expressly. We've been we've been proclaiming what's going to happen. Who's going to take you down? And you know what? And they, they and the Russians are Edomites, so it's an Edomite Edomite crime. It's Edomite meat. Uh, I say black on black crime. They always say black on black crime. It's Edomite Edomite on crime. They on top of each other. They they going your your own your own counter your own brothers is going to destroy you. You know. So the scripture speaks about that, All right? Um. Uh, I, I wasn't thinking about bringing this verse out, but it just I'm trying to get the word now. Um, the Medes, I think it's, is it the Medes? I can't think of the word, it's a lot there. But, yeah, so what they said, what they trying to do, they, they cause it, they, they, the irony. They want to they wanna change it up how, how we put it out. They want to make it their way. So what they trying to do, they trying to quit, they, they trying to um slander our names. First and foremost, they're going to slander Yahweh Shah's name. And that's what it's going to be about. It's going to be about them bringing us down because of we proclaiming the coming of our king. That's what they don't want. They don't want, they, the scripture speaks about them hiding on the rocks. Wait, oh, let's see if I can get that one. Um, Salakia, let me see something. Um, hide me. I can't, I'm trying to think of the words. Salakia. Uh, let me see if I can get to this word. Um, hide me. Uh, like, yeah. I know, I know, um, I can't think about where that's at. It's like, yeah. Oh, man. The scriptures just came to my head. The scriptures come to my head, but it's so hard to get the words, the wording. Um, it says, um, what else? But the scripture speaks about that. All right, it says, I think I got it. Here it goes. It says, Revelation chapter 6, verse 16. And and said, and say to the mountain and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. See, that's what they that's what they're trying to do right there. They're trying to hide themselves. Cause they they put they got these they got these holes in the rod they got the satellites they put they try to this is what they trying to do so they know Yahweh Shah is coming back they see more than us they said they wiser than Daniel um the scripture says that um that the children of of they wise they wiser than the children of light they 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 got the satellite they can see these chariots man they they can see inside the chariot they got I'm telling you they got it's they got so much information that's why he's talking about the space force. We need a space force. We gotta have a space force to be able to fight these things, man. Cause I don't know, we, we ain't gonna win. Trump is a piece of shit, man. 
All these years, oh, y'all thought when y'all got um, Obama in office, y'all thought y'all was going to get fried chicken forever. Nah. The grease is done. The grease is old. And nobody, and they ain't cooking fried chicken now. They trying to cook you. They trying to put you in concentration camp. They trying to put microchips in you. They trying to put those RFID microchips in you. That's the key. That's the, that's the, next, that's the next prophecy. And they, once that's fulfilled, everything's going to speed up. Let me read this verse again. Revelation chapter 6, verse 16. And say to the mountains, they, they want to hide. They, they want to get under the mountains. They want to go deep into the, they got these underground bunkers. They got these things that go deep, deep into the ground. Because they know, the, the elites know what's going to happen. They know the mark, they know, they know, they, they know that the, the nukes going to be shot off. And they know they have no control of it. Because one time, what happened? The chariots flew over a military base. He started controlling the um the buttons. Told me it was a countdown or something like that. Ten, nine, eight. You, you have no control over this. This this thing is the will of the Abba Shem And the, and said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne. Who sits on the throne? How about Shem it, it, uh, this is Ashashi was saying. This the, the elite saying this. Telling the mountains, telling the mountains <laughs> and the rocks to, to fall on your hiders. Let's go, let's go deep into the ground. But it's not gonna happen. It's not you you gonna oh what the scripture said? Um oh man, it says Oh man, how I go. Let me see if I, maybe it's on, maybe it's in here too. I forgot what that's at. Oh man. It says, um, oh boy. Oh. I'm trying to think it's another, what's another, um, It says that, that we're gonna um thus we will pull them out the holes. Cause we're gonna you're gonna be in those holes, right? You're gonna hide yourself in those underground bunkers. And we're gonna come get you. That's gonna be your that's gonna be you're gonna put yourself in prison until oh oh many days. Let me see. Let me see something. Let me see. Visit Mizzy many days. Visit many days. I think that's the saying. Visit. It's a lot here. Visit many days. I think I got it. And they should gather together the prisoners. After days. After days. I can't remember how that word went. Oh, man. All right, hold on. I think this is it right here. Hold on. And they should be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit. And should be shut up in prison for many days. Salak is, is that's not the that's not the one, but I'm gonna read this one anyway. Isaiah chapter twenty four, verse twenty two. And they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit and should be shut up in prison after many days. They should be visited. And yeah, they go, you, that's what's going to happen to you. You're going into prison. But it was another verse I was uh, I, that um I think is similar to this one, but um but it's not Salaki. But yeah, you 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 know, all these things that's happening is is triggering up to the coming of our King. Yahweh is good. Yahweh Shah is waiting for Yahweh to send him back, and for he can sit on the throne. Ain't nobody care about your problem, Ashashi. You out of here. You going back to where you need to be, a base man. You troubled the earth. You troubled the people. Ain't nobody likes you, man. Your own people don't like you. So you um cause an irony. So we, if we can case the point, use that word. Because you're trying to change up what we're saying that it is. 
You try to make us like we terrorists. Like we the bad guys. We not the bad guys. You're the bad guys. You the one that's messed up the earth. The earth you 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 got these motherfuckers out here eating bat soup. Eating bats and shit. Cause you the you in charge. You you know what's you know the law. You know what's what's you got motherfuckers going around taste testing fucking all types of animals. And no damn well you're not supposed to eat no damn squid. Or oh, shrimps and lobsters. You're not supposed to eat that stuff. Or oh, case of point pigs. That's why the ecosystem is out of order. Because there's no motherfucking shrimps in the damn fucking sea. They can't eat the garbage. And and, and, a, and the motherfucker just yesterday, motherfucker said, yeah, I say I have nurtured a pig and he that he got the um he said some shit. I was looking at him like, God damn. This nigga talking to me like I eat swine. <laughs> he said the um what the hell he said? <laughs> 